Tonight we meet a local waitress with an incredible story of survival. When Tina DeBella was 14 years old, she noticed a growth forming in the front of her neck. Her doctor told her it was just a goiter and they'd keep an eye on it. Well, it wasn't until 15 years later that Tina found out the goiter was a much greater problem. Tonight, Channel 3's Hallie Jackson brings us her story. I heard cancer, two surgeries, ICU, possibly never walking again. Tina DeBella could no longer lift a tray of food to serve her customers. As a waitress in Enfield with no health insurance, she started getting bad neck pain, but knew a doctor's visit was out of her budget. She instead turned to the Internet tried to play doctor and I kind of googled it to see what it could be and I thought it was just a pinched nerve. The pain got worse and the goiter in her neck nearly doubled in size. That's when DeBella was referred to the Brownstone Clinic at Hartford Hospital. Right when that doctor took a look at me I think she she knew I was in bad shape and went for a CAT scan and that's where the spot was found on my spine. DeBella then went to see Dr. Paul Schwartz, a neurosurgeon at Hartford Hospital, who told her that spot was thyroid cancer. The tumor had completely eaten away a vertebra on one side of her neck. The only thing that was holding up her head on that side was the, was the tumor. Dr. Schwartz told DeBella the tumor would need to be removed and her spine would have to be rebuilt out of cadaver bones and titanium rods. If her head had tilted in the wrong way, if she got into a car accident, if she had fallen, fallen on ice and hit her head, that tumor could have collapsed completely and could have paralyzed her. Just a few months before DeBella went into surgery, Hartford Hospital received a mobile device called the O-Arm. It's essentially a surgical GPS that gives three-dimensional images of a person's spine while they're on the operating table. The patient comes in the room, they get positioned, you you have a general idea of, of where you have to go. You use the O-arm to define specifically where you want to make your incision. Uh, you make your incision, the O-arm then helps with the trajectory of the screws. By being able to measure up to the millimeter where they had to place the screws in order to rebuild Tina's spine, the O-arm significantly decreased the chances of any complications. They said I wouldn't be able to go like this. I may be able to only like go this high. But Tina isn't content with just basic mobility. I'd like to possibly take up skiing once Dr. Schwartz gives me the, the clearing. Um, I have to wait for my fusion to uh, completely heal, but I'd like to ski. I've always wanted to do that, and I'm hoping to uh, let that be part of my next chapter is taking on something new. I'm Hallie Jackson, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. And good luck to you, Tina. The Brownstone Clinic covered much of the expenses for doctor's visits and tests for Tina. Combined with state health insurance, Tina hasn't paid anything out of her pocket for her.